at Mach 7, you know, we have a number of different ways to ingest non-DICOM. You know, users can browse the file system. It's a, it's a user-intensive way of getting non-DICOM in. Uh, we also have ways that we can pull folder locations to automatically ingest and associate data to, to uh, patients and, and visit information. You know, ophthalmology is a good example where we can ingest TIFF images and automatically associate it to the right patient and visit. Uh, but for about for those specialties like dermatology and wound care, you know, how can we capture videos and photos uh, and take notes and things like that efficiently? You know, with our, you know, does does your VNA vendor that you're looking at do they have tools that enable you to present a pick list of patient of visits, just like in just like a tech would do in, in radiology? You know, and from that pick list, then take pictures of the mole or the rash. Um, and associate it to that patient and visit and then have it sent to the VNA. You know, how can we, let's learn from those other departments and figure out how we can optimize those workflows. If it's non-DICOM in its native format, you know, there, that's, that's a good evaluation piece for your viewer. You know, so for instance, at Mach 7, our clinical enterprise viewer supports displaying images in their native format. So if it's DICOM, it's going to show show it in a DICOM viewer. If it's if it's non-DICOM, it's a JPEG or a TIFF or even a, a video file. It will show that also in its native format within that same viewer. Uh, so the viewer is is designed to stream up uh, different media of many different formats. You know, but that does raise an inter interesting question. You know, when you're evaluating VNAs and other viewers, uh, there's certainly a lot of DICOM viewers out on the market. Um, but as you're evaluating them, you know, do you need to wrap everything in DICOM just so you can support your enterprise viewer? Or do you need to put a requirement on that enterprise viewer to be able to support those non-DICOM formats? Uh, so, and, and if they do, and if it is a third-party viewer and it supports only non-DICOM, then does it have a, a standards-based way or is it integrated to that DNA of choice to be able to view those? You know, a standards-based way could be through XDS, for instance to be able to query the, the VNA through XDS consumer protocols to be able to get that out. So in summary though, our, our viewer supports displaying DICOM and non-DICOM formats. So I believe there are there are some instances where there's value in wrapping it, but but by default, you know, I would our opinion is you keep it in its native format. So with that being said, though, as you're looking at VNA vendors, um, you know, make sure they're not put into a proprietary format. You know, I think that's that's kind of the, the past two decades that we're moving out of. That's what's caused a lot of our challenges. So let's keep it in, let's keep it in their native true formats, with a few exceptions. There may be exceptions where it makes sense to wrap in DICOM.